Hi, in this video, I'm going to solve another question from IT Jam and it's on NMR. So let's see what this question asks. So this question asks among the following compounds, which of these will show two singlets? So we have to find uh, the compounds which would give two picks and both picks are singlet picks in their proton NMR spectrum. So, so there are four compounds. And I've drawn the structure for all the four compounds. First one is 1,4-dichlorobenzene. So you can see this is a benzene green. This is 1 and this is 4 position. There are two chlorines. Now we have to analyze how many type of, how many picks would be there and whether these picks are singlet or not. Let's see. So actually we have for uh, getting the idea about how many pick there would be, we have to figure out how many chemically different hydrogens are there. And the number of chemically different hydrogens would be the number of peaks. So for this particular uh, molecule, the hydrogen present here and hydrogen present here have the same chemical environment. So for this and for this, we would get a peak. So this let's uh, uh, margin it as a peak. Then for this point, this point and these two points, for all these points, we would get another type of peak it's B type of peak. So for the uh, for uh, this particular thing, we would get two peaks in its NMR spectrum. Uh, so two peaks would be there. And now we have to judge whether these peaks are singlet or doublet or whatever. So for this particular compound, we have the molecular environment of these mm, two hydrogens are similar. So they would form a one type of hydro one one peak and the molecular environment of these two hydrogens are same and these two hydrogens are same so total three peaks would be there so the three singlet peaks would be there and so this could not be our option because we have to find two peaks and two are singlet uh, let's see here so here we have a hydrogen which is attached a hydrogen which is attached to a carbon and the carbon is further attached to the oxygen and here the carbon with uh, the hydrogens are attached to a carbon so here and here there there are two different chemical environments so here is a type 1 proton and type 2 proton so there would be two peaks there would be two peaks over here and for this compound also the hydrogen over here and the hydrogen over here have a same molecular environment, same electronic environment, I would say. And then for this point, it has a different environment. So still here we would get two peaks. So for this question, three of our, our options are showing that they have two peaks. Now we have to judge whether these peaks are singlet, doublet or triplet. Let's see. So for this thing, we would use the N plus one rule. So the just to remind the N plus rule. So for this proton, if we want to see whether the picks are singlet or doublet to this corresponding to this A proton, we have to uh, check their uh, carbon and uh, the hydrogen that are associated with its neighbor carbon. So this carbon is not attached to any carbon and any hydrogen is not present with its neighbor. So in our n plus 1 rule, here n would be 0 and it would be 1 that means it is singlet it is singlet so we just have to look so we have this hydrogen attached with this carbon we have to look for its nearest neighbor its nearest neighbor is oxygen and we have to look whether this oxygen is linked to any hydrogen or not so the number of hydrogen attached to this neighbor is n so here n is 0 so we put 0 and 1 plus 1 that's our rule states so it's total one that means it's a singlet peak for similarly if we put n plus one rule for this thing for these b type hydrogen there is oxygen over here in the surrounding over here we have oxygen so uh, any in any way it has no proton with its neighbor so it's n plus one equal to zero plus one here so it would be one a one peak and it's singlet peak and for this hydrogen also, its neighbor is oxygen, no hydrogen attached to its nearest neighbor. So it would be singlet peak. And let's see about these things. 
so for if we talk about these a type hydrogen and want to see whether whether these peak corresponding to a type hydrogen is singlet or doublet we would see that with a type hydrogen it has a neighbor b when when in the b uh, type hydrogen uh, in, in the in the b type hydrogen there are actually one hydrogen so here n plus 1 would be n plus 1 equal to 1 plus 1 actually 2 so here the peak would be doublet instead of a single peak we would get a doublet peak for these particular things so here are definitely two peaks but two peaks are doublet not singlet so correct op this is the msq question so correct options would be this one and correct option would be this one so c and d are the correct option for this mcq question uh, hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up please subscribe Thank you.